சாப்பிடு சா Y'all know what it is, TGIF, episode 703. Let's go. What up? Be back at it again. Friday, y'all, what up? Thank y'all for waiting patiently, man. Had to get together, get these, get this video going out. You, you know it's going to be worth the wait. What's good, y'all? Let me put this up, put this out. Shout out to everybody that be dropping those links and everybody that be sharing on their platforms. All right, you know, you know, you know, I'm gonna heat up. Give me one second. We here. Hopefully, everybody had a good week. Ready for the weekend. Relax. <laughs> yeah, man, that's what we're gonna do. What up? Shout out to the to the uh to the team. Who up in here? It's the intro. What's up, Shayla? What's up? What's up, Sassy? What's up? Good morning, Miss Jackie. Whole family up here this morning, so y'all already know how it's going down. What up, Punches? What's up, bro? What's good? Ho- hopefully y'all y'all caught that last night. Members. What's up, Shayla? What's up, Melanie? Good morning, Nia. Good morning. 4-1, what's up? Rainy woman, I see you slide through. What's up, Carol Walker? Good morning. What up? What up, JJ? What's up? What up, bro? Jamal Johnson. What's up? Y'all know how we do this. The intro, man. All right. So if you don't like it, skip it. I'm cruising right now. What up, D Malley? What up, KC? What up? What up? I see y'all, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Look, everything that's going on, we already spoke about. NBA dumb boy finally got locked up. But he probably gonna get out again anyway. All right, we're talk, we're gonna talk about him. I know I was supposed to talk about that uh Diddy and Carl Winslow stuff the other day, but I ain't feel like talking about this shit. But I gotta talk about it today, <laughs> real quick. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I with that Carl Winslow stuff, I'm I think that's reaching. I, I think that's reaching. I don't know, but it could be true. But you know what I was saying, man. I was like, anybody been around Diddy, you might as well make some shit up. But I was talking about if you gonna make up some shit on Diddy. You better off making up some shit like he did something to you. At least you you might get paid off that shit. But all the other shit, making up shit on Diddy for uh clicks and views, I don't know about that. Don't say it. anyway, y'all. What's up, man? How y'all doing today, man? We back. Y'all see us Friday already, right? Look how fast this shit going, y'all. Friday. Another one. Anyway, man. Let's go. Fuck it. Let's go. Because NBA dumb boy finally go to jail. Y'all know I crowned him that two years ago. His name was NBA Dumboy. I done proved it to y'all. He's the dumbest motherfucker. But the only thing about NBA Dumboy, they use that dumb motherfucker to influence all of the kids of America. I'm going to tell you again, when you see that picture of that dummy, you're going to see every little nigga you see running around America, that's where they got their swag from, most of them. Yup. The whole world was following a Baton Rouge nigga. That's what they was doing. Kids in New York, kids in Philly, kids in Detroit, Chicago, all over was following NBA Youngboy, Cali, all of that. Because he was a program, man. He was sanctioned to do what he did. He was sanctioned to act like a fucking asshole and never go to jail. I told y'all, some motherfuckers go to jail, some people don't. All this shit NBA Youngboy did, he didn't go to jail. Any black nigga that followed him, they got 50 years. It's that simple. All right? Thank you very much, Judith Bay. You, you thank you, uh, Judith. You don't gotta donate all the time because you. I think you kind of rich. I'm gonna be real. You might be rich hiding it. You might be rich, and that's a fake page. Thank you very much because you donate a lot. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything. Other than that, y'all know I put this work in. Thank you for appreciating the work, Judith. I'm just joking. Other than that, y'all, this nigga was sanctioned to do a lot of shit. That's why he never he never went to jail, y'all. I spoke about this yesterday. Now, some some of me and my people, we know this. This whole shit of people getting out the feds with all type of fucking extra special privileges, that shit new to me. This shit new to a lot of us. We never heard of shit like that. But I've never seen so many niggas on federal house arrest walk around, still be around guns, all that shit. Still be smoking weed. 
I could have sworn NBA young boy was still smoking blunts on camera. And he was he was on federal house arrest. Some people don't understand when you government property, you're really government property. All right, your government property, and you you it is what it is. That's what that's that's how a lot of this shit work, man. A lot of people don't want to believe that shit. Point is, man, that nigga was aging, man. How you know? What makes this little nigga special out of all black out of all black motherfuckers around the planet that could rap? What made him so better? Why was he so favorite? It's not, it wasn't because of no talent. So we talk about talent, y'all. It's America. Look, America is filled with talent. Right then they got TV shows on shit like that. So whenever you see certain people, some people are hand selected, y'all. That's all it is. He's another nigga that just be streaming. Matter of fact, the other day, I just spoke about this nigga. When I did this video, I brought up NBA Youngboy. He had nothing to do with the video, but I spoke about him. Know why? Because I was talking about rappers on their way down. I was talking about these rappers that's going broke. And I was talking about a lot of rappers that finesse the internet to make motherfuckers think they're bigger than what they are. And I showed motherfuckers that NBA Youngboy, allegedly, out of all the shit he did, he only down to like $10 million. All right? His shit's sinking. He, he just got locked up. So I just was talking about the nigga this week. Now he got locked the fuck up. See that? A lot of motherfuckers. I don't need to be, I don't need to speak on y'all because seeing some of y'all I speak on, y'all just be fucked up after that. <laughs> I think we just be ahead like that, y'all. Or maybe we just can see a motherfucker downfall. Cause this little nigga, I was just talking about him the other day about how he going broke. Boosie going broke. Boosie got about two million dollars. All them niggas going broke. Rap is not paying the bills, man. The NBA young boy is another one. That nigga was living in a used mansion. Yeah, he was doing this thing, but Look, come to find out, man, that match only worth like $5 million, man. See, as a rapper, as a nigga that been rapping, as a nigga that's always on camera, nigga that got all these albums, followers, subs, that's not a lot of money. All right? He could have way more than that. But he's a dumb nigga. And I never seen a nigga get probation for all these fucking guns. This was the T.I. of the new generation. That's all it was. So ask yourself again, how the fuck did he get these privileges I got family members and friends. They got caught with one, and they never came home. They got caught with one. They got seven years, five years, three and a half, one. This nigga didn't do nothing. He 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 been home chilling the whole time, talking shit, beefing. Y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. Simple. NBA young boy arrested in Utah on weapon and drug charges. The Louisiana born rap star who has memorable features on songs by Migos, Juice World, and Tyler, the Creator, been serving strict house arrests after a pair of arrests during a 2020 music video. This nigga done got arrested so much, but this is what people didn't remember. No, his original arrest, what got him on house arrest, was in 2024. They did the video. He did a so-called video shoot, right? He had all his niggas pull up, and all his niggas had guns in the video. But when it was all said and done, the police raided the video. Remember, the police raided the video shoot and caught them with all those fucking guns. The only thing is, his niggas, they didn't come home. He did. He got on house arrest. So it's simple, y'all. Now I got to break it down in street terms because this old shit. And these young boys didn't understand. I throw the video. I say, yo, bro, come out. Y'all, all y'all come out. I'm throwing the video. My niggas come out. They all got the guns. We got the guns in the video. My video. Police run down. Oh, shit. Everybody get locked up. I get out of jail, my niggas locked up. I'm the nigga that told him to come to the video. Matter of fact, I might have said, yo, bro, bro, bring the guns. We're going to put them in the video. See that? Simple. He set them niggas up, y'all. All right? Them niggas, he been on house arrest since 2024. Where the fuck do they do that at? They don't. It's no such thing as federal house arrest for four, three years, two years. It, no, he's a fucking agent, y'all. He was a government agent, and they allowed him to work from home. Get it? I told y'all. A lot of agents now work from home. Hey, same way you work for your company at, at work, right? Then they tell you you work from home now. If you work in a bank, uh, telemarketer, you work from home, right? Federal agents work from home. Why? Home in investigations are done on the internet now. That's what I kept telling y'all. The agents work on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Their job is to sit behind the fucking computer all day and spy on motherfuckers tell and gaslight and start shit you always gonna know the agents because they always start and shit agents job is to be provocateurs to provoke shit to stir shit up whatever they tell them to fucking do that's their job all right long as you ain't talking about nothing real as long as you ain't uplifting nobody you just keep the fuck shit going that's what they do all right his job was to keep the fuck shit going why the shit he promote 
keeps the young niggas getting locked the fuck up, keeps them going through the door. Why? Because he's going to get out, but they not. And they've been letting this nigga do this on camera since he was a little nigga. That's when I've been when he was an agent. They've been letting him doing this shit on camera for the longest. Smoking weed, pointing guns. He would be been federal. Federal, when you're federal and you got that, you got that special paperwork, you never go to jail, man. That's him. Anybody else would have got in trouble. Anybody else, video shut down. Anybody else, Instagram account, snatch. Get it? If I pull out a gun right now, I go on the ground and say, motherfucker, I'm going to kill you. I start snapping him in the crib right now. You know how fast police going to be at my fucking door? If I did that on YouTube right now, if I, if I go live right now, y'all, and I start talking shit, holding two guns up, man, they going to be at my house so fucking quick while I'm on the live. They going to come get me, man. That's how this shit work. But niggas like him, no. He worked for them people, man. Told y'all, man. Him, Boosie, all them niggas. I'm going to say it. Why? They walking around. Them niggas be catching charges while they home on charges and get more charges and get house arrest. Nigga. You can fool this generation, but we, we real street niggas. <laughs> I know law. So I know you niggas. Give me one second. We up. A lot of shit be going on, y'all. Anyway, back at it. Back at it. Look, y'all, we up, man. It's Friday, man. Y'all know how the fuck we do. Let's go. Because I told y'all, I done did this already. So once again, it's boring. Because I broke a whole, I did a whole special on this man called the NBA Youngboy Effect. Don't forget, it was NBA Youngboy music that influenced John Morant to lose his fucking Nike deal. Get it? It was... John Morant listening to this boy that had him standing on top of a car waving a gun. That's how powerful this nigga influence is. Y'all didn't get it, though. This nigga, can, he influenced a lot of motherfuckers on some real shit. This nigga made an NBA basketball player think he was a fucking gangster. I ain't never took did no video holding no gun on top of no car waving. No, I ain't never did no shit like that. But he gassed a lot of niggas up to do that. He was sanctioned to gas the young boys up to kill, kill, kill with them guns. But even though he wasn't going to go to jail. Agent, y'all. So let's go. Rapper NBA young boy arrested for prescription fraud. Prescription fraud. I told you he's a fucking junkie. I already told you them niggas are fucking perk heads and dope heads. They're dope heads. He's a young dope head. I knew he was a young head dope head by the way he smoked his cigarettes. He smoked his cigarettes like a fucking fiend. I, I know a fucking fiend when they smoke. They smoke different. All right? Period. The fiend loves the fucking smoke. <laughs> so I know a fiend. He's a young fiend, man. And he promote fuck shit. Got 11 kids, some dumb shit, man. Right, he's a dumb nigga. Know why? He ain't got that much money as niggas thought he did. He only got $10 million. You got $10 million. You just got arrested. You got 10 kids. How the fuck the fuck you going to go on that? Get it? His career is over with. He's done. But sometimes the feds will put him back in the game and hook him up. Like, like you can clearly see the feds gave him this credit. Feds gave me that was a that's that's where the feds was hiding snitches at in Utah, man. That's an old crib. The feds was hiding all uh, the niggas out. The niggas that snitched on John Gotti, y'all. That's the house they was hiding at back in '91, man. All right, that's a snitch house. That's a federal fucking snitch house. Y'all know when the fed uh, when the feds lock up rich motherfuckers, they take all their shit and they keep that property, man. And they and they let the snitches live in there. Yeah, he was living in the fucking snitch house, man. Point is, y'all, how the fuck he get the point on them guns to get out of jail? And now we're going to look at all the time this motherfucker got out of jail. Anyway, NBA young boy, never broke again, has been arrested in Utah on several charges, including possessions of dangerous weapon by a restricted person. And for a pattern of unlawful activity, a pattern, he was doing mad shit in the house, buying perks, getting fucking high or shit he ain't supposed to be doing. He also was dealing with identity fraud, forgery. Let me tell you all this again. Remember before how you can walk around with a fake name? I used to do that shit. You do that shit now, that's identity theft. You get caught using a fake name, that's identity theft now. Not with y'all. Federal. See what I'm saying? So I'm just showing y'all this all the shit the nigga was doing while home on probation, allegedly. Nigga, ordering perks, ordering pills, getting high. You feel me? Waving guns, all type of shit. Why? They let him do that because every day that little bastard was on the internet influencing them fucking kids 
he influences the kids to be dumb motherfuckers and go to jail and die. And them uh, other bitches, they go live all day to make bitches twerk all day and get kidnapped for sex trafficking. That's their job. That's why the government allows it. We know the government allows certain shit because we now learned back in the day they let all that shit go on that we lived through. All right? That whole East Coast, West Coast beef, they let that shit go down. Everything they wanted to go down, they let that shit go down. When they want to stop it, they'll stop that shit. Can we agree on that? Whenever they want to stop something, they'll stop it, right? Boom. Let's go. So my point is, some people get away with shit, some people don't. Let's look. NBA young boy involved in fatal shooting ahead of Rolling Loud performance. Everywhere he go, bad shit happen. It's a lot of them. Boosie badass. Y'all forgot Boosie badass, the same nigga. It's no coincidence him and Boosie from the same place. When Boosie goes to hotels, niggas get killed, robbed. Boosie go do video shoots. The video shoot get raided by police. Niggas go to jail. Same thing happened with him. Boosie did the same thing in California. Went to California to shoot a video with old boy. Police run up on the set. All the niggas get locked up. But the key is for everybody else to get locked up, they're going to get away. They've been using this rap shit to set niggas up for the longest, y'all. Y'all don't understand that shit. I'm one, I told y'all, one day I'm going to break down all of the rappers with sketchy backgrounds. You know what I'm saying? We'll get back to that. But I'm just showing you. He was able to do all this. Now you see, y'all, look. He was involved in shootings. People dying and shit. Whatever the reason. Whether he did it or not, it's not the point. Also, don't forget, that whole King Von beef, his name was in that shit. His name was in that shit. Quando Rondo was signed to him. Quando Rondo homeboy killed King Von. A lot of that beef was supposed to be over this nigga. Told you, he never get in no trouble. Because that was his job, to start trouble. All right? He got paid a lot of money to start trouble and fucking ruin generations. That was his job. See that rapper NBA young boy is shot at as another man is killed and a girl 19 hospitalized in a drive-by attack near a Trump resort in Miami. Wherever he go, bad shit follows, man. Does NBA young boy have felonies? He was charged with second-degree felonies of a possession of a dangerous weapon by a restricted person in pattern of unlawful activity, third-degree felonies of identity fraud and forgery, and misdemeanor drug possession. Mind you, that's his new charges. All right, that's his new shit. <laughs> in 2022, NBA young boy was found not guilty, knowingly possessing a firearm. Oh, after he already got caught for the first shit? After he got caught in 2020 for this, he got caught again. Bingo. See that? He got caught again. Look, boom, 2022. Not knowingly possessing a firearm during a separate arrest relating to a 2021 incident in Los Angeles. So in 2021, the motherfucker got pulled over and ran, caught with a gun again. All right? This was 2020. 2021, nigga got caught with another gun. Thank you very much for that super chat. Who that? Thank you very much, Tony Goldsmith. Thank you very much for appreciating this platform. Thank you very much for appreciating the work. Thank you very much, for everybody that donates. This, this is the real black media right here. This is the best you're going to get. I'm not the only one, though. I do suggest if people that you like, people that y'all really into, it is only right to support them because that's how people get through doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of y'all. And don't forget, money is motivation too. Now I ain't gonna sit here and lie. Don't say it. So I'm gonna keep working, earn my bones. But in 2022, NBA young boy was found not guilty. The rapper was pulled over by LAPD and was arrested after a brief foot chase when officers discovered a pistol underneath the passenger seat of his car. Now, my people already know, especially my people from LA, my people from California, period. You know in California, when you get caught with a gun, they ain't letting you go just like that. Y'all know that. So mind you, he was already caught and he already got caught with this. 2020, 2021, he get caught in LA with another gun and now he's caught with more stuff. So common sense, the nigga is a fucking agent. What part y'all don't understand? A rapping agent. I told you a lot of niggas are agents. The ones that came out of nowhere, internet success, agents. Sit. All agents, put it like this. Anybody working with them people, whatever job you want to do, they'll, they'll help you do that. Whatever role you need to play or they need you to play, they will assist you with that. That's why I was telling you. Oh, you what you want a channel? We'll get you a YouTube channel. That's all you want. We got you. You want some numbers? Yeah, we'll make it look. Yeah, we got you. Don't worry about it. They need a couple outfits. We're going to give you a check. 
And every month, this check is going to come in. And this will be the check that you take care of yourself, pay your bills with. But meanwhile, God, we're going to need you to do this, this, that, and the third. And that's how they do this shit, all right? Same way back in the day to let the snitch motherfucker, hey, man, you can sell all the drugs you want. Don't matter. Just just, just don't kill nobody, but you can sell all the drugs you want. But we're going to need those names. That's how the shit go, all right? Agents. That's why some niggas on here say what they want. Motherfucker, I don't care. Never got in no shit. Me, I done got my shit struck in the past for one fucking word. Struck. No, 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 no cap. No cap. So this is how I know. A lot of motherfuckers been working on this internet, man. A lot of y'all been working on the internet. A lot of y'all. So I ain't stupid. So long story short, man, this nigga been getting away with literally getting away with murder. So let's look, y'all. In young boys' lesser charges include procuring or attempting to procure drug prescription. Nigga was a junkie trying to get fucking perks, y'all. Young nigga trying to get Roxy's. <laughs> he trying to get Roxy's, perks, Seroquel, motherfucker trying to get all that shit. Fucking Xanax bars. Fucking junkie, man. All right? Dumb. Dumb as fuck. The Louisa, Louisiana-born rap star who has... Memorable features on songs by Migos. They're washed up. Juice World, he dead. Tyler the Creator, he's a fruit bag. I, I told y'all rap was dead. He was on strict house arrest after a pair of arrests during a 2020 music video shoot. He was indicted in March 2021 after he was allegedly caught possessing two guns as 16 people were arrested on drug and weapon charges while filming a music video. Man, I'm tired of this nigga. See that? But they still let him go live all that time, y'all. Nigga never did no time in jail. So everybody was saying six nine a rat, and everybody want to say this one a rat, but nobody that want to say this nigga's a rat. <laughs> and the rat be right there chilling. What's up, real Mike OG? What up, OG? What's good, bro? Yeah, man, that does seem strange. Shout out to my people down in, in Louisiana, man, the boot, man. Real Mike OG, though, what's up? Yeah, man. A lot of niggas, a lot of suspect shit. You know these niggas ain't supposed to be home. Nigga, I get caught one of them shit. If I get caught with that shit with that silence of looking shit, I'm done. I'm, I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all ain't gonna see me no more. About 10 years. You feel me? Let's look. Y'all gotta use your brain. This is not normal. This is not, you don't just get out with shit like that. This T.I., man. T.I. tried to convince us he wasn't no agent. Nigga, stop it. All right, stop the bullshit. Paperwork, man. Motherfucker, when you doing this type of work, ain't no paperwork. It's called a clearance, motherfucker. You got a clearance. You got a whole nother fucking social you do dirty. You got a, y'all got a whole other background names, man. NBA young boy in his real name. The other name ain't his real name neither. Whole time this nigga named Clarence, man. All right? Nigga named Clarence Jr. the third. That's how that shit go, man. Fugazi. The niggas be agents, y'all. Because you know why? If we got to let him through the door to fill up these prisons with 2.5 million niggas every summer, that's what we going to do. We got, we got, do y'all understand? We got uh, funeral homes jumping. The funeral home percentage rates have went up to highest levels since this nigga been rapping and doing them live videos. Keep let that nigga keep going. That's how it work, man. Everybody eats off dumb niggas. Let's go, y'all, because they got jokes. Here go y'all ex-president. That might be y'all new president. This y'all ex-president wife. Remember y'all was happy when a black woman was in the White House? Remember y'all was celebrating and stuff? Well, this she go. Michelle Obama, 60. Highlights. Incredible physique. In rainbow dress, that gets fans talking. <laughs> soul for these souls, see what's up. Everybody around here already know what I'm talking about. You should already know what's up with this. Uh, now I get to prove another point. Now I'm going to show you, black people. Now you see how they going. I'm going to show you how they troll you in your face. What Jones River said before she died, y'all. What did Jones River say? What did Joan Rivers say about Michelle Obama before she died? I'll wait. I'm not in a rush. Thank you, Kylie Greens. <laughs> I remember having arguments with motherfuckers in 2016 over that shit. When I saw them white people, them white people was on Obama and her ass, and they did a whole study on the, the man hand from the woman hand, the man uh, arm from they broke it all down and I, I got it clear as day and I said holy shit niggas been tricked <laughs> but the key is this y'all hold up thank you very much thank you very much Brenda check it out thank you very much for rocking with me too we family around here but look right I gotta keep going I was arguing with motherfuckers about this person 
Some people say that person named Michael. I heard Obama in a speech saying, I like to thank Michael. I mean, Michelle. <laughs> we already know this shit around here. But John Rivers told us, and the next thing you know, John Rivers end up out of here. Now, see, if John Rivers would have said what she said about Michelle and was still walking around, I'd have said, yeah, she full of shit. But when that lady, John Rivers, mysteriously just disappeared on some, she was ghost. I said, nah, that shit was for real. Now, let's talk about it. Now, I'm going to show y'all how they troll in your face, black people. Michelle Obama, 60, highlights her incredible physique. Hmm. <laughs> in rainbow dress. You see the code? Her physique in the rainbow dress. She's really down with the rainbow because she is rainbow. Because her physique is very manly. Do you get it? I'm not going there, but y'all should already know. They're telling you to your face. <laughs> Everybody saw the day when she was on Ellen and that thing, her meat was swinging her fucking pants, man. Seen that shit years ago. It was disgusting. All right? Because I didn't know. But when she was dancing and they slowed that shit down, there was some shit bouncing her fucking pants. So it missed me with that shit. I already knew what time it was with her. All right? I'm just going to leave it at that. They said the secret joke is they were the official Rainbow Coalition. A lot of that black stuff, the joke about black, what y'all got to understand about that black talk, Rainbow and black is considered one now. I don't know what part y'all don't understand. It, did you know if you're a gay white man, you can classify under that black stuff? Y'all didn't know that? The benefits they get are under black, coded under black. How do y'all don't understand what's going on, man? How do y'all understand what's going on? The point is, they were the secret joke about Obama and Michelle is that they were the first rainbow couple in the White House. That's why the joke was that was part of the reason why they sanctioned all of those laws. Get it? They, it, the joke is they sanctioned those rainbow laws because they were rainbow. And it has been said that those were not their real kids. I don't know if it's true, but a lot of people did research on it. <laughs> so we're going to leave that at that. But I want to show you how they troll people to their face. Incredible physique. Why are y'all promoting her physique at 60 years old? Hmm. Kind of be funny, huh? Well, I'm pretty sure. Let's just say if it is a man physique, it's going to still stay solid at 60. I don't know. But I know one thing, you always notice another thing about Michelle. Always wear them long sleeve shirts, always wear stuff dripped around the neck, always wearing over overdressed shit. You're gonna see that all the time. <laughs> anyway, though, incredible physique out of all dresses, y'all, a rainbow dress. Told you this how they troll. Now y'all see it. Let's go. Some more trolling. Your boy Chris Brown, that nigga been so loud. I showed you that nigga Chris Brown is doing fucking uh, Afro beats. Chris Brown is fucking working his ass off like a slave, but the shit is funny. Chris Brown also rapping, y'all. So Chris Brown is busting raps. The nigga's doing Afro beats. He's doing everything but singing a woman. All right? He's doing everything but singing R&B because Chris Brown know that R&B shit don't work no more. He knows that. But look, Chris Brown been so versatile more than usual. Yeah, man, because Chris Brown got to eat. That nigga ain't trying to go broke. He got to do whatever he got to do. He gonna do country music too. You will notice that they're all doing. All right, Beyonce, you came out as R and B. Why the fuck you doing country? Chris Brown, R and B. Why the fuck are you rapping doing Afro beats? Now, y'all get it now. That shit is dead. Told you, man. They want no parts of that shit. They finally got it to their fucking head. It's over with. No more. R no, you get it, y'all. That also means they know the black fans are not the priority no more. That's really what it's about, y'all. So I'm showing y'all, man, Chris Brown doing everything but singing notes. Plus his voice fucked up from getting high. He can't sing no more, man. So stop playing. Chris Brown, I love you forever. I just want y'all to see the brainwash. What is this? What is this? What is this bitch holding? Saying I love Chris Brown holding the Bible. You see how retarded people are on social media? My bad. I ain't mean to diss her like that, but I'm just keeping it real. I, 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 matter of fact, my bad, I got to apologize because somebody used that picture for that caption. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tokyo Tony. I didn't even know that was you. I just noticed that shit. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Tokyo. Please. I I ain't, I just noticed what was going on, man. Somebody used Tokyo Tony picture, man. She was a co-signer of Chris Brown. My bad. But that is one of them old original Bibles. So I ain't gonna lie. That's one of them real shits, right? Hey, y'all, that's one of them real Bibles with all the truth in it, too. That's the real joint. That's one of them real. That's one of them Bibles right now that probably cost you a couple hundred. 
that's the real joint. So my bad, Tokyo. Don't 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 get at me. Man. I'm sorry. Somebody used her picture, but I was showing y'all the idiot that said, "I love Chris Brown forever. I love you forever." <laughs> you see our fans are fucking psycho, man. So I wanted y'all to see. But then look, when Chris Brown, this was Chris Brown saying his rap, y'all. I had to let y'all see this shit. When Chris Brown said, "Big booty bitch, coochie is the juiciest," he was talking about me, and that's why y'all mad. See this delusional bitch. <laughs> but look, Chris Brown kicking raps, y'all. Look what he said. Big booty bitch, coochie is the juiciest. <laughs> you know why I'm tripping? You know I've been, you know, you know I be, y'all know I be saying the word coochie. I'm the main nigga be saying that. And we was just trolling Meek Mill for saying he like juicy, juicy stuff. <laughs> These niggas are funny. It seemed like they be listening to us, y'all. All of a sudden, Chris Brown rapped about coochie. He trying to prove to us he ain't zesty. That shit weird, right? Chris Brown is spitting gangster rap, y'all. Big booty bitches. Coochie is the juiciest. <laughs> Chris Brown, you ain't never talk like that, nigga. Stop y'all bullshit, man. Matter of fact, a lot of big booty bitches pussy be dry, bro. Stop it, nigga. All right, I'm just being honest, man. Y'all don't be y'all don't be fucking reckless on, on Friday, man. Let's go. Usher. <laughs> look at Usher. Usher look like fucking Roscoe. Didn't I tell y'all they was going to have these niggas wearing them goofy ass pants? I told you, don't follow the celebrities. Anything goofy they bring out, they get them to wear first. Let's rewind to last year. Remember when I showed y'all last year they was trying to get, get, get people to wear those goofy ass cartoon Mega Man boots? I said, don't wear that shit. I said, they wait on y'all to wear that shit. Lil Wayne wore them shits. Lil Baby wore them. Niggas ain't bite. So they stopped wearing them shit. They threw them Alexander McQueen shits to the curb. Whatever the fuck they wore, they was like, nah, they ain't work. They trying it with the bell bottles. We'll tell y'all again. They are trying very bad to get us into bell bottoms and big sloppy pants with big bottoms at the bottom. Looking like a fucking goofball. That's Usher. Another thing about Usher. We shall cook this dumb motherfucker. Why, y'all? Do you see his fucking wife bigger than him? Now, ladies, can you see how they pull fucking tricks with cameras, niggas? Can y'all see? I'm not going to lie. They made me think Usher was way bigger than that, man. Usher's a fucking peon. Look at the couch. He's only a little bit taller than the couch, the arm of the couch. Look, look, his wife is bigger than him. Her head is bigger than him, too, and he got a hat on. Is that a man? Usher, I'm going to say it again, nigga. Stop your bullshit. You do not like women, nigga. You do not like soft, beautiful women. Now, Usher, you can have any fucking woman you want, bro. We know this. Why do you keep picking ugly chicks? That looks suspect. That's all we want to know, Usher. For real, you fucking my head up with this shit now, man. You walking around looking like a fucking clown. Your man Diddy getting chastised, and you trying to capitalize off the fame. You's a foul nigga too, Usher. Cause see, I'm not playing with you no more, nigga. You get on these, you get on these camera pictures, and you be trying to flex with Photoshop shit. Now let me show you how Usher trying to trick y'all. I already showed y'all before the picture of Usher, the nigga fucking six pack disappearing. The nigga had a ball spot on the top of his head, a fucking sunroof. But when he take those pictures, ladies, that nigga flex. He get under the water and he trick y'all. Nigga spot, nigga posture straight. Look at that nigga. <laughs> that do not look like you right here, Usher. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop the shit, man. Y'all see the camera tricks, ladies? You see Usher in real life with his back turned, you ain't even know that's him. You be writing the fast food line in the back of that. You don't even know that's Usher. Why? Because his pictures make him look bigger and larger than life, man. That nigga's a peon, man. You see the fucking height? He, the nigga got to flex his muscle to take pictures. He, he, he's, he's flexing his muscles. Let me show you again what Usher be doing, man. <laughs> this shit funny, man. I ain't hate no Usher. It's just funny. Hold up. Y'all know Usher be doing a lot of extra shit. Like flexing his muscles, see? He flexes his muscles. <laughs> like he in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Usher's a nasty motherfucker, y'all. Told y'all that nigga got herpes. That nigga shit started itching on stage. Use a fake Michael Jackson, Usher. Use a nasty bitch. Usher, you are so short, you only a little bit taller than a microphone. Nigga, I thought you was bigger than that, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You take them pictures, you would think you fucking a muscle bear nigga that knocked niggas out. Usher, <laughs> Usher small as a motherfucker, man. Man, stop trying to trick women. Use a little nigga, man. Stop it, man. Your fucking wife bigger than you, man. Stop it, Usher. You see this nigga? They, tro they was trolling Usher, though. That's what I'm talking about. They was trolling that nigga, y'all. Look. They said Usher look like Roscoe Jenkins. <laughs> I didn't know he was that small. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know, man. 
Usher, you not fucking no pussy up. You not doing nothing, Usher. Stop it. Stop it, Usher. <laughs> Damn, ladies, man. This is the shit y'all been. Y'all can't believe y'all, man. Y'all got tricked by a motherfucker that don't even want coochie. Then when he do pick a woman, he always get ugly woman on purpose. <laughs> why he don't want to make the man he with jealous? Because the real man he love, he don't want to make him jealous because he get that's why he get ugly chicks. So he, he, you know what I'm saying? You get it? Niggas a fraud, man. Fraud ass nigga, man. Ha <laughs> little man. Now nah, see, Diddy got your ass. See, that's how Diddy used to look, y'all. That's when he was zesty. Diddy been zesty, but I told you, you got to go back into them 90 pictures to see the real Diddy. Told you, me and my peoples, we never forgot who Diddy was. We remember that nigga was walking around with perms in 94. He was walking around with dark Caesar perms. We knew he was zest back then. See, Diddy? That's before the tough guy rolled, y'all. This the nigga that got Biggie Smoke, Tupac. This the nigga that had Fabulous Shook, all of that. See that? But if he looked like that now, you probably smack the shit out of him. But see, that's who rappers were scared of. <laughs> that's the nigga that told you this is the exact time when him and Usher was sleeping in the bed, y'all. That's why I said that. That was at that same time right there. Usher was a little boy. Usher, you don't like coochie, man. Then I tell you, you always can tell goofy niggas by the way they wear their hat. Ladies, if you listen to me, you'll never be tricked. <laughs> Goofy niggas put on a hat. They put on however they feel like for that day. I think their hat represents their sexuality. Whatever they feel like that day, that's what they're going to do. They're never consistent, man. All right? Goofy niggas are never consistent. Remember that, man. All right? Usher, stop faking like you a fucking, a fucking muscle-bound nigga, bro. All right? You ain't Elders Aegis in them niggas, man. You ain't Michael B. Jordan, bro. Stop your bullshit. Michael B. Jordan, at least that nigga really work out. You don't do that, Usher. You full of shit. I seen you in the club with Kevin Hart. Though. Yeah, I was matter of fact, him a lot when Kevin Hart was in the club recently, man. It was getting high, man. You know what I'm saying? Usher, you be with Russell Simmons, nigga. You don't be in no gym. You work out in bedrooms, bro. All right? But this the nigga Diddy is now. They got niggas scared. See? Diddy grow out the muscles. Dark skin Diddy, man. But look, y'all. Diddy allegedly had relations with Carl Winslow from Family Matters, man. I'm going to say this alleged. I'm going to say I don't believe this shit. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I'm gonna speak on this shit. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, yo. This, that's why I say a lot of shit just going on trippy to me, man. Back in the day when I was a teenager, man, I used to date his niece. She lived in my neighborhood. Carl Winslow used to pull up in my neighborhood in limos back in the day, man. Anybody from Brooklyn, you sure already know this. If you're from Eastern York, if anybody know about St. Paul's Church, he used to go to St. Paul's Church too back in the day, y'all. Anybody from Eastern York, you should know that. That's a fact. I used to fuck with his niece. I ain't going to say her name, though. We knew he was fruity back then. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact, y'all. I'm not lying to y'all. I used to fuck with his niece. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. He used to come to the hood in limos and shit early in the morning. But I ain't never meet him and shake his hand or nothing. But it was one time I went to the church, and he was at church in the front row. Him and that dude, uh, David Peterson. Penis, whatever name, David Peniston. Yeah, they used to go to the church we used to go to. But, yeah, Carl Winslow, yeah, he always been zesty. But I don't believe that shit with him and Diddy. Because reason why I don't believe that shit, because Diddy was young and he was way older. And I don't, I don't believe that shit. But they, I ain't going to doubt it ain't happen because Diddy like brown skin niggas. Remember, that's the profile of the niggas Diddy like. That look like Lil Rod, man. Every time I seen Lil Rod, every nigga that look like Lil Rod, hey, Diddy did it, man. Fuck it. Diddy like brown skin short niggas, man. Ain't like, he like chunky niggas, too. That's, and don't forget, man, this nigga had the Luther Vandross swag back then, man. That was a zesty look back then. Y'all forgot? Y'all forgot that that was a zesty look? Y'all forgot the mustache with no with no uh goatee was the zesty look back then. Y'all forgot that. <laughs> yeah, man. See, Diddy wasn't beard game back then. That's what I was talking about. I said, yo, why niggas like Diddy wasn't wearing a beard his whole life? He started growing out beards. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. What's up? Who else up in here? What's up, Hemi G, man? What's up, Hemi? Anyway, y'all, let's keep it pushing, man. They said these dudes doing something. Some nigga said he kicked in a room and they was getting busy. But the nigga could have been clout chasing, man. Podcast alleges Diddy screwed Carl Winslow from Family Matters. Claims he caught them. Now, we heard about him and Christopher Williams. We heard about a lot of shit. But this one, I think this a reach. But we'll see. Let's look, y'all. Sean Diddy Combs can't seem to catch a break. 
from these allegations. Another bombshell is going around social media surrounding Diddy's relationship with Carl Winslow from Family Matters. A clip from popular podcast, a Neighborhood Crip, is currently making rounds online. A man made some scathing claims about Diddy during the episode. I don't know, but I wouldn't doubt it. Cause we do know we do know Diddy likes to pray. He definitely likes to pray with his brothers. He likes for them to take turn on knees. And him and Carl Winslow, I don't know because maybe at that time Diddy wouldn't want to risk his career and getting caught doing that shit. Cause back then, if he'd have got caught, his career would have been over. So I don't know. Maybe Diddy did. Maybe he didn't. But I wouldn't. I would not doubt a broke nigga from reaching on the podcast right now. Cause niggas are thirsty for content. So I'm gonna say, y'all, this is a ledge. I don't know. But this is Carl right here. And Carl is still zesty to this day, but he's still healthy. He's a healthy man that's 70 years old walking around, y'all. And he ain't in trouble like Diddy. <laughs> you feel me? That's also, you know what else that's doing? That's also trying to tarnish the Family Matters legacy. I'm going to be honest, y'all. Family Matters had a lot of jewels about family in that shit, y'all. Family Matters taught a lot of shit. That's why we have balance when we speak about back in the day, because even the shows we watch always try to teach us something remember it would always we always would deal with funny shit we always did whatever party bullshit around but it always was a message in everything we did we always had a boundary get it no matter how crazy you acted it always somebody bring you back home wake up what the fuck you doing you know what i'm saying get back get, get right you know what you're doing ain't right whatever we always had that so once we lost that that's why you see it, it is the way it is but family matters showed us family structure and this, this, these are the last vision. That's why, it, yo, y'all, I'm going to tell it again, y'all. They was doing rituals on us. Rituals. Remember, it's a crime or a sin to show a positive black man on film. See, they didn't want to give us those images when we were young, but they had to. So the joke they played was what? Every black hero we had, come to find out they were what? They were gay for real. George Jefferson, right? Carl Winslow. Uncle Phil, that wasn't coincidence. That was on purpose, y'all. Why? You never let a real black man portray the role of a real father so he can be a real influencer. So we're going to get these characters to play the roles of these fathers, but when they get too attached to these characters, they're going to find out they're zesty. And that's what they did to us. And that's what that's what created a separation from us and them. Tell y'all, man, they mind fucked us our whole life, man. All right, they mind fucked us, but these shows, if you go back into it now, they got positive shit in it where you could let your kid watch it and watch it and say, damn, they was putting jewels in that shit. Like they showed an episode I saw it on the TV recent. It was an episode where Family Matters, Laura went to school and they wrote nigga on her locker. They wrote nigga on her shit. And they had to break that down on racism. But that was in the TV show. You know, now they don't do that. So I'm just saying, y'all, it's a lot of jewels in all those old TV shows, man. That's why they're important. TV shows got dumber when Martin came out. So anyway, back to Diddy. Hey, maybe him did do something. This is Diddy in his beginning days. But you know, we're going to pass, so I got to bring up old shit. Ha 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 Diddy boy. Diddy was a zesty soldier, man. He was ready to stand attention. Ha 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 ha. Diddy and Mace. Ha, they won the Super Bowl. All right, just showing y'all, man. Uh, Carl been out the closet, man. So has Usher, too. All these niggas, man. Told you, man. That's how he embraced himself when Diddy was thrust in his ass, all right? That's how he embraced himself. And that's how that's how Usher was on stage too long, and he was doing too much sweating. His fucking herpes started acting up. He had an outbreak, allegedly, all right? They had to stop the show. Told y'all, man, the joke's on you. Ladies, they still trolling y'all. Why? They put a nigga with herpes on the Essence cover, to fucking troll, y'all. <laughs> no matter what you say about Usher, he has herpes. They got a herpy nigga in the tub, allegedly. <laughs> this is trolling. Why? You mean to tell me black women, they couldn't get no other black man to do this shit? They couldn't get no other man but Usher. That's what you're telling me. No other man. No, they did this on purpose. We not putting none of y'all heroes on no fucking cover. We will put Usher on there for y'all. That's about it. See, let me show you again the black jokes they play. I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna slow it down. We'll give you a black man on the cover of Essence, but he got herpes. We'll give you a black man in your TV show, but he's gay. These are no coincidences, y'all. No coincidence. It's all on purpose. All right, 
So I'm just showing you. Yeah, we gave you a hero, a media mogul, but guess what? He was fucking violating people, his own people for 30 years. I'm going to say it again. None of his allegations are on nobody white. Everything he did fucked up, he did it to black people. It's not a coincidence. As long as you're doing fuck shit to black people, you always literally can get away with murder because they let you do it. We will pay you to fuck your people over. You straight, don't worry about it. We got you. The check's going to be in the mail, nigga. You just keep getting them niggas locked up. You keep the bad boy program going, nigga. You the bad boy, and bad boys go to jail. So you keep pushing that bad boy shit, nigga. You lock all they fucking sons up. You bitches keep having kids, we're going to keep taking y'all kids. All right? I said it raw, right? That's how they think. Sick, man. Nobody care about no fucking black kids. Stop playing. I'm going to keep saying that shit. Nobody care about nobody black, period, man. Black people is damn near equal with trash now, man. I said it. Know why? Because the whole world know the shit. Simple, y'all. Go said Simple. Back to shine, punk ass. I already broke him down. Now let me show y'all something. I told y'all I, I see the whole truth. Sean was Diddy's bitch back in the day. Sean was getting plowed too. Let me show y'all some shit. Look at Sean here. Do you see this bastard Sean here? Exactly how Diddy here was back in the day. Sean was Diddy's bitch. I broke it all down. You make sure you check the video. A lot of y'all ain't watch it, but you'll catch it again. Sean was talking to us too. They were fucking lovers. You know, I know it's a ledge, right? I broke it down how you got to be a bitch to let a nigga get you locked up. Meaning, let's go back in history. Sean went on a campaign against Diddy, saying how Diddy set him up. Diddy made him take the charge. He went on a fucking rant. He did time in jail. He came home, was talking a little shit, and shut the fuck up and got kicked out the country. Diddy got his ass kicked out. Bow, get the fuck out of here. Send his ass back to that fucking island. Then what happened? Years after that, he make up with Diddy. Now Diddy in trouble again. Diddy made me do this stuff, man. You a fucking bitch. No, I know that, Sean. You had to be a hoe to forgive a man that you said set you up to take 10 years. You can't home forgive them, didn't smack him, didn't do shit, became his friend. You niggas were lovers. That's the picture right there, you little young punk bitch. Diddy got you when you was a young boy too, nigga. I ain't stupid. I ain't stupid. If a grown man had you when he when you a young boy, he can always have he can have you when he grown, nigga. Y'all might not have sex no more, but he still got power over your punk ass, nigga. I ain't stupid. You gotta be a bitch to do time in jail and come home with your hair wavy, nigga. Now you wanna cry. Diddy got Diddy made me do it. Look, I already broke this down fucking two weeks ago. Bad boy rapper Sean claims he was the fall guy for ninety nine. Man, fuck that shit. You know why? You didn't say that this day. You were still with Diddy recent. You did not say this a year ago, Sean. You didn't say this a couple months ago. Now you ain't the Diddy in trouble. That's how I know you was Diddy's bitch. I'm going to say it. I'm going to spread a dirty rumor. It's alleged. Diddy was fu- Sean, all right? He was plowing Sean. They're like, like He plowed Usher, Meek Mill. He did Sean too. How we know that? Because Sean came back home. He came back home to daddy. I'm coming home. Y'all get it now? Lovers. They beef wasn't a beef. Lovers quarrel. See, it's like this, Sean. Diddy told you straight up. If you don't want that video to come out with him plowing you in your ass, you better take that charge. That's what you did, nigga. You took that charge, fool. Yeah, you was mad. Lovers quarrel, nigga. They had nothing to do with nothing. Both of y'all dumb niggas was paranoid shooting in the club. That nigga Scar had y'all niggas shook. And y'all niggas started shooting. That's what the fuck happened. All right? Both of y'all were two bitches. I, right. you shot everybody but the nigga you was trying to shoot. Dumb niggas. Clowns. So, miss me with that tough guy shit, Sean. And I don't give a fuck if niggas said you was blood locked up back in the day. That was for protection, nigga. So you wouldn't get it started. All right? He's a buster. And I never seen a gangster nigga come home and become a fucking politician and get a fucking perm like Al Shopton. You are the Al Shopton of the Virgin Islands, nigga. And I'm going to say Diddy found you too. Diddy found you Diddy found the fucking mace. Diddy found G Depp. He found all of y'all because Little Rod told us he liked to fill on niggas' booty while they make beats. So we get it. Diddy like to fill on niggas while they in the booth. He's slick. He catch you when you're in the middle of the verse so he know you ain't going to stop. And he likes to fill on niggas. He likes to give you hugs and say, good job, bro. Yes, that's what Diddy does. He likes to horseplay, put niggas in headlocks and grind on the ass. We now know this, Sean. 
That's what all you niggas did at Bad Boy. Do you see him and did? Do you see Diddy and Mace? When they was in a relationship. Yeah, nigga, I said it. The one and the two. That beef him and Mace got to this day, love was quarrel. Whenever Mace get mad over the money, he, he start he start bitching. Hey, bro, when you don't give your baby mother no money no more, what she start doing? What your girl, what that, what that bit of what that bit of old hoe gonna do when you break up with her? Hey, hey, ladies, that nigga you broke up with, what he gonna do when you trash his ass? He gonna get online, start bash you, start beefing, right? Mace and Diddy. Now you see why Mace won't go, won't say nothing about Diddy. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You was the bitch with the arm rolled up and the jumper hanging down. You was the bitch, Mace. Simple. <laughs> Attention. That mean bend over, nigga. You know what time it is. Sign that check, fool. Why you think he ran? I don't want to do this no more, Diddy. I'm, a, I'm running. The nigga ran. You got to run. The only way to get away from Diddy, you got to you gotta claim a religion, man. You got to get up out of there, man. Diddy, he's scared of God. He was scared of God back then. So if you claim Jesus, he'll leave you alone. If you claim Muslim, he'll leave you alone. He was scared of God a little bit. But when he turned into the black, dark skin Diddy, he, he turned into the straight devil, man. All right? So Mace, how did you get your deal, Mace? How did you first get the deal? What made Diddy pick you out of all the Harlem figures? Out of all the niggas of Harlem, that was nice. McGruff and all them. What made them pick you? What made you the favorite of the litter, Mace? Wow. Hmm. What made y'all guys so tight out of all the people? Now I see why Big never liked Mace. Anybody know the story? Big never liked Mace. The problem is, I think Big wasn't with that zesty shit. Anyway, Diddy and Mace were lovers what it was so i ain't trying to start shit but i am kind of starting shit fuck it <laughs> you know why mace you turn into a fake ass preacher bro and that ain't cool and i ain't gonna forget what pimp c said about what went down to atl nigga and i ain't gonna forget what your old well, boy said about what he said too anyway man y'all niggas ahead of y'all time because y'all were the founders of the rainbow community man y'all just had the balls to come out back then we had no clue what the fuck was going on but wendy williams did and Wendy Williams is the one that said y'all niggas was gay back in 98. She was the first one talking about gay rappers, and that's when Diddy tried to ruin her career back then. These are the pictures and things was going on, which made Wendy say he was zesty back then. To all of us, everybody owes Wendy an apology. Everybody's supposed to go on Wendy Williams' page and leave a comment and say, you was right. Because she told us about this nigga back then. See that? Him and Mace were lovers. What's Diddy preference, y'all? Brown skin niggas. <laughs> yeah i'm on some bullshit i'm bored man it's time to go put in work already man it's been a long week we got more to come told y'all man usher ain't doing shit look at usher y'all i told y'all man i don't care if those are louis v jeans i don't care if they fucking alexander mcqueen if i see y'all wearing them fucking jeans i'm gonna fucking bake your ass all right if i see you walking with your fucking pants dragging under your sneakers like it's motherfucking 93 I'm a clown. You feel me? I'm a clown. Straight up. The niggas dressed like 93. Once again, nigga, we not going back to those days, Usher. You look exactly like the nigga dressed going to freak me. You look exactly like a nigga from 93, 94, nigga. I'm going to be honest, man. I'm not doing that shit. All right? I should stop this shit, man. Plus, man, how the fuck every girl you get bigger than you? Damn. The nigga is only a little bit taller than the arm of the couch, man. His girl named Debo Gotti got more head than she got body. That nigga looking like Roscoe Jenkins. And that's who y'all pay to go see at shows, man. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> Yo, what is is that picture altered? What the fuck is wrong with Usher in that picture? I didn't know he was that little, y'all. I didn't know Usher was like a mini me. I didn't know that shit. Damn. Can't make this shit up, man. The camera's a motherfucker. Usher look like he knocked niggas the fuck out. I thought Usher was about 6'2, man. Nah, man. That's little, that's mini me, man. That's little man. You saw the movie Little Man. <laughs> that's little man, man. That's Diddy's little man. They, they, they did a lot of praying together, man. <laughs> oh man, man. This shit crazy, man. I'm still trying to figure out how niggas like him never go to jail. Why I couldn't get a pass like that, man? You feel me? Why, why we why we don't got them type of passes? We could do shit that don't never go to jail, man. This nigga got caught with all of this shit, man. This nigga's a fucking terrorist. Nigga never went to jail. He in jail now, y'all. They let that nigga be a fake blood, all that shit. 
put that nigga in the snitch mansion, hit that nigga in the hills. That nigga's from Louisiana. What the fuck he doing in Utah? Hiding out like a snitch. Yeah, that nigga was hiding out, man. That's a fed house. All right, y'all. We're going to do a recap. What nigga you ever seen on house arrest get m- massive charges and still don't go to jail? All right, this nigga, let's, let's do the recap on this fucking agent nigga. In 2022, NBA Youngboy was found not guilty of possession of a firearm during a separate arrest relating to a 2021 incident. The rapper was pulled over by LAPD and was arrested after a brief foot chase, ran from the police. Officers officer discovered a pistol in his car, another possession. All right, he's a fucking idiot. All of these fucking charges never went to jail, y'all. Michelle Obama, she ain't go to jail neither. But the thing is, <laughs> man, I'm trying to leave them alone, man. All I'm saying is this, man. The biggest joke they ever played was, I think that was a rainbow family in the White House, man. Anyway. NBA Youngboy was arrested in 2020 at a music video shoot. He was indicted in 2021 after he was allegedly caught possession two guns as 16 people was arrested. This motherfucking bastard got 16 niggas locked up at one time, man. This nigga's a slave catcher, man. What the fuck is... Now y'all get what I was saying? That's just 16 people that was with him got locked up. A lot of niggas got locked up over him, man. So... This is also a sign that rap is over, man. They let him do everything they needed him to do. Now they don't need him no more. So now his time is up. So now his ass going to jail. But we'll see. He's probably going to get out again. Him, Lil Boosie, they're in the same program. No disrespect, but it's the truth. All right? I need to know how the fuck you niggas get to walk around like that. I don't care what you're talking about. (laughs) They ain't the only ones working from home, neither. All right? It's a lot of niggas working from home right now. Street niggas ain't getting no more money, all right? Most of them niggas ain't. They working. So I'm going to leave that at that. I'm bored. Y'all know how I do, and I'm fucking bored. Also, don't forget, new show. We did this last night. So members, it's on members only. You can check it out right now. But I'm going to release it. This is for grown-ups, real talk, real conversation. This adult adult shit, real talk. So if you about that, you, you tune in, you kick back, relax. But that's what we do. It's me featuring KC and Shayna Boo. Two women and a man. So they get to jump me, all right? And I got to hold it down. That's how that works. All right? So other than that, man, y'all stay tuned, man. A lot more shit coming. So, yeah, members, you're going to be real happy. Got a lot of things coming on this platform and others. All right? Because we getting bored with YouTube. Simple. All right? And that's it is what it is. So on that note, y'all, I'm about, to, I'm about to get out of here and, and start enjoying the Friday, man. I hope y'all do the same, man. I'll be back later, man. I think I'm going to turn up. We might do a kickback tonight. I don't know. Don't hold me on that, but I might. So y'all stay tuned. All right? I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this day. I'm going to laugh at Usher one more time. Nigga looking like Roscoe Jenkins. They trolling that nigga. Ain't, it's, ain't no coincidence the nigga having a, Ro- a Roscoe Jenkins jacket, man, with his hat on like a fucking goofy. <laughs> What's up, Latasha Jordan? What's up, Sheila E? What's up? I'm just being me. Good to be blessed. What's up? Shout out to the family that's always supporting, man. What's up, Sassy Faith? Colleen, what's up? Yeah, y'all, man. Enough of that, ladies. All right? So now y'all know the truth about Usher, man. Ain't nothing wrong with Usher, man. Usher's a good dude. He just nasty, man. That's all. So anyway, man, I'd like to see if one of y'all ladies can meet Usher one day, how y'all would act. I want to see y'all let Usher hug you after he do this right here. But he's telling us to our face he got that stuff, man. Ain't no way in hell. You ain't Michael Jackson, nigga. So y'all need to stop trying to steal that man's swag while he dead. Stop y'all bullshit, man. All right? And Carl, man, shout out to Carl, man. Carl was zesty back then. He wasn't hiding it, man. That nigga was, he was like Luther. All of them niggas was on that shit. But at the end of the day, they were still men, man. All right? So we're going to leave them alone, man. We're going to get Carl a pass, man. He get a pass, all right? He get a pass. <laughs> Man, I'm out of here, man. I ain't fucking with y'all. Hold on. Who up here? Who up here, man? I'm going to holler at y'all one more time before I go. Like I say, man, this nigga was on house arrest for three years straight in the house, man. Now y'all see what I told you? These fucking dumb celebrities don't do nothing. Hit the live button all day. That's <laughs> it, man. Fucking dummy, man. Dummy boy. And I know about to get out of here. Main chick. What's up, main chick? Princess Diamond. What's up? What's up, Apex? Yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. I ain't going to hold y'all no more. I had to put something together to holler at y'all. On that note, 
episode 703. What's up? What's up? Uh, what's up, Shay? What's up? What's up, Dario? I see y'all. Episode 703. Y'all know what time it is. We out. One. What up, AI? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Dance Tom. That's right. Everything got to be exposed, man. That's right. Everything got to be exposed so the new people understand. Don't follow these motherfuckers. You're going to ruin your life, man. All they do is ruin lives, man. That rap shit they do them but ruin fucking lives. That's all it did, man. What up, Ski? Zest gang. I told I did a whole special on fruity thugs. How they was breeding a whole generation of fruity thugs. Ah, they love guns and penis, not women. Hey y'all, I'm telling I'm seeing something, man. I'm telling y'all the truth, man. I think they're trying to make uh coochie extinct, man. I think they're trying to make that shit extinct, man. One day, only way we, we gotta go to a museum and see that shit in a glass jar or something. I don't know, y'all. There's some weird shit going on. Man, every time I see this picture, they should have fucked Diddy up back then, man. Nobody had the heart to fuck him up. The only one that wanted to fuck him up was Styles P. That's it, man. At least Styles P threw a chair at that nigga. Styles P was tired of that shit, man. Styles P is the only nigga I, I ever heard or heard of was really trying to fuck Diddy up for real. I don't know nobody else was trying to fuck him up, man. Niggas were scared of this dude, man. Y'all got to look at this nigga, man. He tricked the fuck out the world. This nigga. That shit got me mad, man. I wasn't even down with bad boy. I would have smacked that nigga so I swear to God, man. Me and my niggas would have been got kicked out the studio. We'd have been got banned from Bad Boy. We would have been got in trouble for that nigga, man. Cause we'd have been fucked that nigga. I'm telling you the truth, man. I don't see how niggas let that nigga punk them niggas. But they did it. They did it. <laughs> niggas was partying with that nigga. They were scared to say no, y'all. Can you see that shit now? He, niggas was scared to say no. <laughs> I ain't gonna forget too, nigga. You stole MC Hammer whole shit too, nigga. You stole MC Hammer dance. You stole that nigga whole fucking swag, nigga. You did that. So I ain't gonna let you get away with that shit too. You stole MC Hammer whole shit, Diddy. 
you ain't slick, nigga. You said you was a you you was a dirty ass sidekick, nigga. You said I'm gonna start being like him. I'm gonna start dressing better. I'm gonna start wearing shades. I'm gonna start yeah. I'm gonna start doing a tight rider more. Nigga, you was the East Coast hammer. You was stealing from the West Coast back then, man. If I was hammered to this day, I'd fucking smack you. You was you you built bad boy after Death Row, cloning they shit. And when you was a dancer, you jacked MC Hammer. You was a fucking clone, did he? Now I see why you never really had no talent. You was a thief, nigga. Period. And your fucking Sirac with some bullshit. Little did niggas know when Sirac was out, I was still drinking Smirnoff. Fuck y'all. Ha 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 ha.